These fireball dropping drones are improving one of the oldest and most effective ways of preventing extreme wildfires, prescribed burning. Prescribed fires basically work by doing a very low intensity burn that will burn up the dead leaves and sticks that would cause major wildfires when they dry out later in the summer. We can reduce these huge wildfires by using more fire when it's safe to do so. Many experts say prescribed burning should be used more often, but it can be dangerous for firefighters. They're often hiking out into the middle of mountains with a drip torch, or they're riding an ATV, and then you have helicopters with a whole crew on board flying really low and slow over the fire. About a quarter of all wildland firefighting fatalities are related to aviation. And for me, this really was a motivation to get these systems into the hands of firefighters. Robotics researcher Carrick Detweiler started his company, Drone Amplified, to make prescribed fires safer, easier, and less expensive. Our system doesn't cover the amount of area that a helicopter can, but you can deploy tens or hundreds of our systems for the same cost as a helicopter. On a 50-pound drone, Carrick secures a device that can carry 400 fireballs that ignite when they land on the ground. We call these dragon eggs. They have potassium permanganate. When you mix it with glycol, it starts a chemical reaction and a fire. The drones allow firefighters to work at a distance from the flames in areas difficult to reach due to terrain or visibility. And this is really doubling the amount of time that firefighters can fight the fire when it's dark, when it's smoky, when other airplanes can't be out there. You can drop the balls in specific locations, and this lets you do much more precise burns Precision is important because even though prescribed burn escapes are extremely rare, the outcome can be devastating. Two recent controlled burns in New Mexico led to the state's largest wildfire on record. Our system can help prevent escaped fires through the use of thermal cameras. You can see through smoke and look for any fires outside of the fire boundary. Our app also allows the firefighter to put in geofences to precisely control where the fire is starting. And this lets the firefighters actually control the intensity of the fire. Carrick says 100 of their drone systems are now working for clients like the US Forest Service and other federal agencies. But in the future, they envision similar systems in the back of every firefighter's truck. When firefighters are widely deploying these, we'll really be able to get up to doing more prescribed fire that's needed to mitigate these wildfires.